Good morning, Fenlanders. How are we doing? I'm Daniel Wharton from Fenland Farming Adventures. I hope you're all good. I hope you're all subscribed to my little channel. Uh, really helped push me forward. Um, keep me motivated. Feeling a lot better today. Um, yeah, uh, it's not been pretty. I'm still all claggy on my uh, chest a little bit, so. It's not been a massive amount of fun being ill. So, Martin Johnson Johnson, he came round yesterday, came and uh, borrowed a machine off me, which is good. It's kind of how friends work, isn't it? Uh, you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back. Although sitting in a hot tub with Martin, scratching his back is a bit weird. He likes it though. He came round yesterday, borrowed a machine off us. Took my uh, heaters off to go and get fixed from Darren as well. You'll all know Darren, he's on George Saunders' videos most of the time. Um, so they've gone off to him. Um, but he did steal two bags of potatoes while he was here. So, I have got to just fire this puppy up and pump out some bags of spuds. Um, get them done luckily enough alarm reset stop bit of a time delay on that get that up and running get everything else up and running we're on we're on babylon now sold out of Agri, so there we go I don't know why I turned the staffer up get this cleaned out now we have uh, I think solved all of our issues I think we've solved all of our issues now with um, the bagger, bag placer, whatever you want to call it, bag presenter. I think we're nearly there with that. There we go. Ooh. And now the clean out. the only way we've figured out how to clean out so if there's a better way anyone that's got paste uh, paste equipment let me know there we go job to get it two of them done oh put done them in the wrong bag but they're blue they're green <laughs> what a moron all right Yay! I've just done them. I've done them because Martin took two yesterday, didn't he? Yeah. I've done them in Babylon bags, haven't I? <sighs> right. Do you want to do another two? Yeah, I'm going to have to, aren't I? What a moron.
Bye. Turn it on quickly. So Grumpy Granddad's been uh, doing a bit of washing yesterday. Started washing some of these trailers down. Um, they would have stayed pretty clean had I not had to go down a farm track that was manky. Everything would have stayed pretty good and clean, I think. Um, one farm track later and everything covered in grime. Uh, my good friend Stuart Rob has started a YouTube channel now. So Stuart Rob 5... 5700 I think is his um, YouTube channel so he was asking me the other day about these um, mud guards I know they're not the same as what you made Rob um, yours come down here to stop the trailer getting covered in toot but mine are just to stop the I mean look how clean it all is in there you know how dirty they get underneath the cab and then flaps just stop all the crap going underneath the cab this has done all the potato hub I mean look at the state of the rest of it look look at the state of it she's minging but yet I've got hardly any dirt underneath my cab suspension mounts or anything there's nothing in there not a damn thing so that is good I got a little bit of spraying a little bit of drilling and then we're all sort of caught up. I've got sheep on one of the wheat fields at the minute grazing the cover crop down. So I get that grazed down. Everything wants a damn good wash. Everything wants a damn good service. I mean, look at the state of me. 190. See, there, everything's just minging at the moment. So I'll get this muck tied today. And then we'll start getting everything washed down, cleaned down. Nutty Nana's now keeping the wheels of industry turning. Go, go. My new Pex cup. My new Pex cup to go with my new tractor that's coming soon. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Oh, hang on, Mum. Bam. I got my cup from this morning. Yeah. So yeah, that is minging. She's grubby. But all, all of my trailers are all grubby. They're all disgusting. Ah, that's good. So, let me turn that off. Get my tractor sorted out. I've got to put some air in the tyres, this was doing a lot of uh, tillage work on the carrier. So I've got that to sort out. Get a tailboard shut properly. I'll get rid of two of these trailers. We've got two trailers cleaned down yesterday just because we want them for uh, putting some wheat in. Still got some wheat on the floor and I don't want it on the floor anymore. So. Ah, get that tidied up and on trailers. I'm going to want some of it for seed anyway. And uh, and we'll... Um, we'll get the rest weighed in. Get that taken over to the local mill. And uh, job to good, I think. So, a little, a little tank full of spraying tomorrow. Uh, a little uh, bag full of seed to drill tomorrow. And then, get everything cleaned down. Everything can be uh, winterized almost nearly then. You know, ready, uh, ain't gonna do a lot of uh, field work, shall we say, because it's all done. Two more fields a week to drill, and then, then I'm done with that. So, boy, life is good, can't complain. I got some spuds to do again on Thursday morning. We get that done but yeah i've got to pump the tires up but this has got no air in those no, the tires at the minute so get the get the tires pumped up on this and go and get a trailer on and go and help grumpy granddad 
he's already done one load this morning in the fast track. Um, he, he won't. Well, if I'm sitting on the tractor, I'm sitting on the fast track. So that kind of tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? See you guys in a minute. Right. <clears throat> We're at Farmer Dan's. Farmer Dan's doing a good job. Trouble with filming, isn't it? Dan's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, I'm just talking to the camera. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, let's see, uh, let's see if we can get out of here. Dad, where are you? Grumpster, can you hear me? Can't be far away, surely. I wouldn't have thought. We're out, out on the road. Not the greatest of gateways to come out on. Let me out. <coughs> Thank you. Right. Another load in the bag, so that's, uh, what's that, four loads I think we had out down so far? Uh, or five? It might be five, it's just laggy. Um, yeah, Grumpster's on the fast track, so he's stolen that. I'm on the old trusty 190. You can notice the difference. This 50k tractor feels like it's standing still now compared to a 65k, uh, yeah, 65k fast track. Feels like you're walking. We'll get back to the field and get this tipped off. We're nearly done, Finlanders. Oh, gives you shot. Probably got this one load left to do. Oh, my back is killing me now. I'll wait for this bus. Um, yeah, so we're cracking on. The jobs are getting nearly done. Grumpy Grandad's hurting as well. He hurt his ribs the other day, falling over, so. Yeah, and I must have farted in my sleep or something and, and put my back out. Joys are getting older. You sneeze or something and put your back out. Lean, bend down and put your boots on and put your back out. It's great, isn't it? Joys are getting ancient. But yeah, we're nearly done. So probably another load for me and another load for Grumpster, maybe. I don't know, something like that. And, uh, and we'll be nearly done, so. All good, I've got a load of bales to break up, I've got a load of wheat to clear up as well, so we'll either uh, wait till tomorrow and get that done and then I spend all day tomorrow just washing stuff down really. Um, I've got everything wants to lube up and uh, service and uh, we'll get that done. Um, make sure everything's healthy while we've got time to get stuff serviced and then we'll start putting the Fenland Farming Adventures HQ up. 
and then you can all come and buy your merchandise from there. Potatoes, merchandise, you name it, you can come and buy it. Right, we'll get back to Dan's and uh, go and get another load. Sorry, I had an angrier water van in front of me, didn't know what he was up to. 